Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Scott Keyes, and I am going to be your instructor uh, for this summer course. Um, I hope at this point you've at least had uh, a little bit of a, a time for a break and that you had maybe a great vacation. Um, but of course, now uh, we have this course. So I hope that you are um, interested and eager and ready to dive in. Um, so what we've got with this video is basically just a, a general overview of my class expectations and just to give you a bit of an introduction to who I am and what you can expect. Uh, because this is an online course, obviously we're not going to have much, if any, face-to-face -face interaction. And so I at least want to provide um, some type of visual component uh, to this virtual online environment that we are going to be learning and working in. So with that, again, my name is Scott Keyes. I love history, I love students, and I love teaching. Uh, and I want to make sure that I can partner with you as we go through these next four and a half weeks uh, as we study U.S. history from the colonial era up to uh, the Reconstruction period, which is following the Civil War. So we're going to go from about 1607 up to 1877. Uh, so we've got a lot of information, a lot of ground to cover, but not a lot of time to cover it in. And so the first thing I want to stress is that we are taking 18 weeks of content and narrowing it down to about four and a half weeks. Uh, and so, of course, the information is going to be presented to you um, somewhat rapidly, somewhat quickly, because, of course, we've got to get it all in in a very, very short period of time. Uh, now, again, I don't say that to freak you out or anything, just to really stress the fact that um, there is going to be a lot of material that's just going to come at you because uh, this course demands that we cover a certain breadth of material and we only have four and a half weeks to do that in. So... Uh, with that stated, each week uh, there will be uh, a certain amount of content covering a particular time period, okay? And if you would like to know what those time periods are going to be in advance, I would definitely encourage you to take a look at the syllabus uh, because it outlines your reading schedule, it identifies what your assignments will be, and identifies what each week will cover, okay? And so with that in mind, I would really encourage you heavily encourage you to look at that syllabus because it does cover a number of things, including class policies and procedures. Uh, and so I want to just cover just a couple of these just because they're important. Um, but definitely, please be sure to take a look at the syllabus to get more uh, of a detailed description of what my policies and procedures are. But for example, in that syllabus, uh, I make mention of what my uh, late work policy is. Uh, generally speaking, uh, I don't accept late work unless it's under emergency, unforeseen circumstances. In other words, if you have something like uh, a family member passes away or you have a medical emergency for yourself or your house burns down, uh, you know, I've had that happen with a student. It was very tragic. Um, if you have a situation where it was unforeseen and it was an emergency, then definitely contact me and we can try and work something out to bring, uh, bring your work in late and I will allow for an extension. Um, that stated, as a general rule, I don't provide extensions for things that are within your control. Um, even things like your work schedule, um, family schedules, um, technological malfunctions, generally speaking, uh, those things do not constitute an emergency, unforeseen situation. Now, I will caveat the technological part. If, for example, Canvas goes down and you are not able to access any of the materials online, that would definitely be considered an, an unforeseen uh, emergency situation because you can't access the materials and you obviously have no control over whether or not Canvas is up or down. That's on the school to figure that out, right? But let's say, for example, uh, you start your assignment later in the week and your internet goes out or your computer dies. Uh, that would not constitute a, uh, uh, an unforeseen situation. I mean, it's unforeseen in the sense that you didn't, you didn't want that to happen, but you obviously have enough time to be able to get your work done throughout the week. That If that does happen, and especially if you start earlier on in the week, we should be able to work something out one way or the next. But that, uh, that policy is more clearly delineated in the syllabus. Um, we also have a makeup assignment uh, policy, but again, makeup assignment policy uh, is going to be one 
you have to complete the assignment first, okay? Um, if you don't complete an assignment or turn an assignment in, then you can't make it up. You'd be doing it for the first time. And so if you just don't submit something, uh, I am not going to allow for a makeup assignment. Um, but generally speaking, uh, makeup assignments, again, like late work, is going to require some kind of explanation. And you will also have to provide some kind of official documentation as for uh, why uh, there is a need for a late work to be to be taken or to be given rather. So, you know, obviously, if there's a medical condition, you know, as discreetly as possible, of course, uh, you know, you'd provide maybe a doctor's note or something of that nature, just something more official. Uh, that would help evidence the situation. So um, those policies are clearly outlined in the syllabus. Please make sure that you look through that syllabus, okay? Uh, really, really important. Um, each week, uh, your uh, coursework will begin on Mondays. And for the most part, um, all of your assignments will be due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. The only uh, assignment where this is not going to uh, follow that date is going to be your final exam. You only have one final exam uh, uh, that will take place during the fifth week. Uh, and uh, that uh, assignment is outlined for you in your uh, syllabus. Uh, and just to sort of kind of look ahead, for your final exam, I actually break that exam up into six different sections. That way you don't have to try and take all of it all at once. Uh, you can take a look at the description and see what the content will be. And if you're less familiar with that material, maybe you take a different section first so that you can then have more time to prepare uh, for a more challenging section. So um, they, uh, they will be multiple choice questions uh, and again, broken up into six sections. That particular assignment will be due on a Thursday uh, by 11.59 p.m. And the reason for that is the class ends on a Thursday. I don't create that schedule. That's up to uh, the school to create that. Uh, so just be aware. But every other week uh, when there are assignments, it will be due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Okay, And you will submit all of your materials on Canvas. Okay, And each week you'll be asked to answer a series of questions. Please submit your assignments as one document. So if you're asked to answer three questions, don't submit each of them individually. Just put them all onto one document and submit it as a single document. It helps for me to expedite the process. And since there's a lot of you in this class in a very short period of time, I wanna to try to expedite uh, and be as efficient as possible, okay? All right, um, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. Um, I do wanna say this, I guess, I forgot to make mention of this. Each week I will try and uh, get your materials up to Canvas and accessible to you by seven in the morning, maybe 7.30, uh, depending upon uh, how my morning's going. I've got four kids, and so sometimes mornings can get a little crazy here. Um, but I will try and get that content up for you each week by seven or 7.30. Uh, each week, you will see an introductory video like this uh, that will kick off each week. And within that introduction, uh, I will provide for you kind of a, a, a overview of the material that we're gonna be looking at for that week. Um, I don't have any lengthy, extensive lectures. You know, there's no two, three hour lectures that you're gonna be asked to listen to, um, but I will be providing about a 15 to 20 minute kind of base overview of the material for each week. Uh, then there'll be some videos you'll watch, some reading you'll do, uh, and that will basically culminate uh, in the content that you'll learn. Um, so always make sure that you watch that material because stuff that I do say on these videos will show up on your exam. So if you skip over the video, you may find that uh, there's some material that you didn't quite get. Okay. Um, as far as communication goes, email is the best way to get a hold of me. And I am pretty, um, pretty good at responding to email. Most of the time I'll respond within an hour um, because I normally have my email up. Um, however, my promise is this. Monday through Thursday, I will respond to you within at least 24 hours. Friday through Sunday, I will respond to you within 48 hours, okay? Uh, the weekends, of course, uh, are an opportunity for, as you guys yourself will have, um, you know, trying to catch up for the coming week, as well as family uh, and community service uh, obligations. So um, that's my promise to you, but more often than not, I'll get back to you much, much sooner than that. Now, when it comes to communications, there's three ways that you can communicate with me. One is through email, and that's the best way to get a hold of me is email. 
The other way is through Canvas. And for those of you who are familiar with Canvas, you'll note this, there is an inbox, a messaging system that you can send messages through um, in Canvas. That's pretty easy. Anytime you send me a message through there, it will notify me through email and generally I can get a hold of you. But another way that students uh, have, a, have a way of uh, responding to me is anytime I provide comments to you on your assignments, students can send comments back. The problem with sending me information through a comment is I generally don't go back to older assignments that I've already assessed and, and reread comments. So if you happen to ask a question uh, in the comments area, I'm probably not going to get that. And I do not want to miss any messages from you because I know you have questions and concerns. So please either email me or send me a message through the messaging section in Canvas. Uh, and I will get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Um, I think that's pretty much what I have. Uh, I do want to offer you, however, one um, opportunity for extra credit. Uh, and basically it's this, within the first four days of class, by Thursday of week one, I would like for you, if you want to have some extra credit, I would like for you to provide a summation and overview of this introductory video, as well as the syllabus. I want to ensure that you fully understand what the policies and procedures are, that you understand what the assignments are and when they're due, uh, and all of those things that are really going to help you be able to navigate this course. So within the first four days, if you don't send it to me within those first four days, the extra credit assignment will, will no longer be open. But within those first four days, by Thursday at 11.59 p.m., email me a detailed and specific overview of this video and the syllabus just to sort of evidence that you know uh, what is expected, okay? Um, that's what I've got. I don't think there's anything more I need to say. Uh, and if there is, I'll send out a message to you guys. Oh, yes, that is something. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, brain is good. Um, if you send me an email, please only email me through your school email. I will not respond to any personal emails. Uh, it's just not uh, something I like to engage in. So only send me emails through the school delineated email. Okay. And then I will respond to you. So that's, that's, that's that. Okay. So I'm going to leave you now and I will leave you with the send off as I will send you off with all of my videos. And that is the following. Go in peace, be warm and filled. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper and may the odds forever be in your favor. Have a blessed week, guys.